Hello everybody. We have in this diagnostics a new feature for web stream clusters. Diagnostics checks your cluster agents and metadata to find potential problems, cost inefficiencies, and ways to make things better. It looks at the health and cost of your cluster and gives detailed explanations on how to fix and improve them. Now I'm going to do a small demo, showing you how diagnostics work and how they can help you reducing costs and making your clusters healthy. So first, we are deploying two agents into our demo cluster. Each of them will run in a different availability zone. In reality, they are both running in my laptop, but I'm going to simulate as if they weren't. Each of them runs in different ACs of a cloud provider. For that, I simply run the regular command to spin up an agent, but I also add the environment variable WorkStream availability zone, specifying the AC. The first agent will run in zone A, and the second agent in zone B. I also specify the bucket URL, which for simplicity is just a file in my laptop, the virtual cluster ID, and then the HTTP port and Kafka port. But again, the HTTP and Kafka ports are just specified because I'm running both agents in the same laptop. You don't need to do this. You just you can just use the default values. So once we run both agents, we go into our Wolfton console and we wait until they appear in the list of agents. Perfect. We can see they both are listed now, and each of them specifies a different AC. Okay, so next, I'm just going to run a small Go script that is producing a small record every five seconds. Here, we create the Kafka client using the France call library. Then we create a small record that says hello world stream. And we produce it in a loop every five seconds. If it fails, we lock the error failure. And if it succeeds, we just print message sent successfully. So let's run the script. When we run, we see the client is getting blocked. We can see here that the producer client started successfully. It went into a loop, but then we don't see any message sent successfully, but also we don't see the fail to produce message. So what do we do? I assume the first thing it would come to your mind would be enabling the backlogs to get more insights, but this can generate a bunch of noise. So let's instead check worst in diagnostics. For that, we go into the cluster and we click in the Diagnostics tab. If we wait a bit, we see that the diagnostic is flagged as failing. It's a health diagnostic and it's named TLS mismatch. If we expand it, we can read the details and the suggestions. In the details, it specifies that a potential TLS configuration mismatch is detected. The client from IP and port, this one, specified, maybe attempting TLS connection to an agent which has TLS disabled. So basically saying that potentially a Kafka client with TLS enabled can be trying to connect to an agent, Kafka an agent, that doesn't have the TLS enabled. So in the suggestions it says that you can either set up a TLS terminating endpoint in front of the agent or enable TLS directly on the agent. And it references the documentation in order to show how to do this. However, for simplicity, in this demo, we are just going to disable TLS in the client because this was a mistake and we didn't want to use TLS during this demo. So we just update it and restart the script. Okay, now we see the script is producing successfully. We can see here the message sent successfully log. So next, we check if the diagnostics UI flagged it as successful. Note that the diagnostics don't have a way to ensure the issue is fixed, apart from waiting a few minutes and making sure the issue didn't appear again. So we wait a few minutes and we validate that indeed the diagnostic is successful now. Okay. However, if we wait a bit, we also see a different diagnostic is not flagged as failing. But this time it's not a health-related diagnostic but a cost-related one. It's named cross AC Kafka Clients. And if we expand, we can read in the details cross availability zone client detected. Client with ID demo producer 
connected to IAM with ID. Right here we specify the ID. I also said that the deployed availability zones are zone A and zone B. In the suggestions, it says to eliminate the AC networking cost, configure clients to connect to agents in the same AC, either append WAC, WSAC, and specify your AC to your client ID, or configure a subnet to AC mapping in the agent configuration. And here we reference the documentation. So for simplicity, we are going to go with the first option, and we are going to just append this special feature in the client ID. So for that, we go back to a script, and as specified, we specify the availability zone. In this case, we are going to do as if the, the script is running in zone A. So now we just restart the, the script with the new availability zone specified in client ID. And we see that it is again producing successfully. So we go back to the diagnostic UI. And if we wait a bit, we see that now the cross AC diagnostic is green. Okay, perfect. So now our clients are not going to pay for us cross AC networking anymore. All the diagnostics are green. So our cluster is healthy and cost efficient. This was just an example of a few diagnostics we have implemented. So go to the Worsting console and diagnostics to check all of them.